This is going to be a streamlined episode as I've already talked about both movies prior, but you keep requesting it. So here it is, Rise of the Planet of the Apes versus Dawn of the Planet of the Apes on Movie Feuds. The biggest draw in the acting department comes from Andy Serkis, who mo-caps the shit out of Caesar. He's much grittier and standoffish with the humans in the sequel, but still retains strong character development especially when forced to trust people again, particularly Malcolm, played by Jason Clark. Clark does a fine job, but he doesn't have that magical spark Caesar and James Franco did in the first movie. It's telling when the most emotional scene in the second picture is footage of Franco's Will Rodman and his best friend talking in the kitchen, footage that was taken right from Rise. John Lithgow was another big draw for me, while Franco's love interest Caroline was an unnecessary inclusion, one that went absolutely nowhere as she doesn't come back in Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Carrie Russell and Gary Oldman are both solid in Dawn, but very one-dimensional, with the second biggest star being that of another ape. I'm referring to Koba, who is great in Rise, but is given a much bigger role in Don. Most of the apes have stronger personalities than their human counterparts, such as Maurice, Blue Eyes, and even Cornelia, played by Judy Greer. Rise of the Planet of the Apes may be a terrible title for a film, but the story is executed brilliantly, following the early life of Caesar. As we see him born into this world, he learns from his adopted human parent, and he is wrongfully punished for defending his family. This all ends with the rising taking place. He trains his fellow apes and leads them into battle where they'll eventually take refuge in the woods. That's where the story gets really interesting but also where the credits roll because this is just the beginning of what's to come. It's also where Caesar has to say goodbye to his best friend. It's tough to watch and I still choke up a bit when I think about it. Why did you break his heart Caesar? Damn dirty ape. <laughs> I kind of wanted to see more of a resolution between the characters, but Dawn of the Apes for some reason jumps forward in time. I guess the writers thought that was best, but I'm still not convinced in that decision. Regardless, Dawn is a damn fine movie. There's a new threat, not just from the humans, but also within the ape ranks. Juggling between Caesar's wavering feelings towards Homo sapiens and his outright foolishness in thinking all apes are good apes leads to some very intense scenes. I think Don is paced a bit slower than Rise, but the payoff is spectacular. The battle with Koba is intense and it puts the bridge battle from the first film to shame. Where I could make a strong case for Rise in the first two rounds, this is a hard one to argue. Don is three years newer and technology continues to make strong strides forward. The apes look almost lifelike at times, with major improvements to shaders and detail. Rise is very strong CGI as well, but it looks a bit dated already compared to the 2014 film. Neither of these movies are big action spectacles outside of one or two small portions, and I'd say each has an equal amount of memorable moments. The first having the terrific prison style escape and the San Fran finale, while the second gets a badass apes on horses hunting section topped with the killer conclusion. You can't go wrong with either is the bottom line. Patrick Doyle gave Rise a nice range of sound. With the help of Hollywood studio Symphony, Doyle was able to match emotions in the movie with that of the score. The music goes on the journey with our protagonist, and a lot of times really sells the feelings of our ape. Michael Giacchino steps in for the sequel. I don't remember the score here near as well, but it definitely makes itself present when needed. These 19 tracks are much darker than the previous list, but this once again sticks with the tone of the film. So there! I don't know why I'm like being an asshole. These were two big surprises for me personally. I didn't expect Rise to be such a good movie, and with the sequel taking so long to come out, I thought Fox was going to give us a half-assed follow-up. I was wrong on both counts and this is my favorite trilogy to come out of Hollywood in the last five years. I really hope they maintain that quality when Fall of the Planet of the Apes comes out, or whatever the hell they're gonna call the third outing. Leave your thoughts on these movies and vote for the winner. Like the video, if you uh, like the video. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm gonna say it anyways. Also, if you wanna keep updated on what feuds are coming out on Feud Nation, head on over to the Facebook page, facebook.com slash Feud Nation. More than just reviews, this is Movie Feuds. I need to speak to Caesar. Why wasn't that in the movie? It better be on the goddamn DVD or I'm gonna be pissed. Yeah, there was that emotion I was missing earlier.